21st of April. It is Wednesday. Okay. So, who can remember what we did yesterday? Does anyone remember what we talked about yesterday? Let's see if Tuang remembers. Hello, Tuang. Hello, Miss Clay. Hello, how are you today? Um, great. You're good, okay. What did we do yesterday? Do you remember? I'll put it on the screen for you. Maybe you can read this one, number one. Molly and Dory took to find Nemo. Good, Marlon and Dory's journey to find Nemo. So we talked about what happened on the way for Marlon and Dory to find Nemo, good. Okay, and number two. Leo, what does number two say? <laughs> the importance of friendship. Good, well done. What does friendship mean, Leo? I don't, I, mm, I don't remember. You don't remember? That's okay. Friendship, remember, is when Ms. you have... Miss Cafe. Yes. But what is... What is journey ah you forgot journey okay let me tell everybody in case some other people have forgotten journey is when we're on the way to something okay everybody mm -hmm. listen journey is when we're on the way to go somewhere for example i can say my journey to school is very long it means it takes me a long time to get to school do you understand my trip, my journey. Okay, Leo? Okay. Okay, well done. And so friendship, remember friendship is when you have a friend, when you have a friend with someone, when someone is your friend, sorry. Okay, when someone is your friend, we say that you have a friendship with them. Okay? Okay. So that's what we talked about yesterday. Okay, so today, first of all, let's check the homework. So if you have your homework, put it beside you and we will check it now, okay? So I seen homework. So I got homework from Big Splash, from Dan, Rico, and to Ang. Well done. Okay, I got all your homework. Very good. So the homework was to match the correct cause on the left side with the correct effect on the right hand side okay remember yesterday we did the first one together marlon and dory dropped the mask which one does it match with which one does it match with remember uh, who could tell me susie can you tell me the first one yes yeah tell me the moon fish cheer. No, no, no. They had to swim deep down under the dark. Under the dark ocean to fight an angel fish to get it back. Good, Susie. Well done. So because they dropped the mask, they had to swim under the dark ocean and fight an anglerfish to get it back. Remember an anglerfish? It's a very scary looking one with lots and lots of teeth, okay? Very sharp teeth. Okay, well done. Number one is correct. If you got it correct, you can give it a tick. Number two. Let's see, Alex, can you do number two? What's the answer to number two? The two friends swam over the trench rather than through it then. Do you know the correct answer, Alex? No. No? Okay, I'm going to help you and you can read it to me, okay? Okay, this one, what does it say? They were? Founded by jellyfish mm -hmm. and jellyfish have to um, bow on them and to, to get, get out. Good, well done, to get out. Good job, Alex. Okay, so if you got it correct, you can give it a tick, okay? 
Number three. Number three, does anyone know the answer? Marlon made Dory sad when he said he wanted Dory to leave. What happened, Thomas? Uh, uh, the moonfish cheered Dory up by doing their impression of a sailing ship and even Nemo. Good, well done. So it means that the moonfish tried to make Dory smile. They tried to make her happy and they did an impression of a sailing ship and even Nemo. Good job, Thomas. Well done. So if you got it correct, give it a tick. Uh, number four, Dory got stung by the jellyfish. What happened after she got stung? The answer, Pony has her hand up. Hello, Pony. Hello, Miss Claire. Hello, what's the answer? Marlon came back to save her. Good, let's see if you're right. Oops, that's my tick. <laughs> <laughs> Marlon came back to save her. Well done, that's correct. Good job, Pony. So Dory got stung and then remember Marlon went back to help her and he saved her. Okay. And so the last one, Rico. Um, Marlon, Marlon and Dory both got stung and fainted. Faint. Mm -hmm. Um, crossed for sure the... Hard thing. Mm -hmm. Save them. Just them and took them along. Good. Well done, Rico. Good job. So Crush, remember who Crush is? The sea turtle saw everything and he saved them and he helped them. He took them along. Okay. Remember, do you know what fainted means? Let's check the word fainted. Marlon and Dory both got stung and fainted. Fainted means when you pass out. Maybe your eyes close and you faint and you hit the ground, okay? It's like you fall asleep for a little minute and then you wake back up, okay? That means that is fainted. Okay, well done, everyone. Hopefully you got them all correct. Okay. So... If you have your homework beside you, you can put it away. And let's continue learning about Finding Nemo. What will we do today? Let's check. So it says, today we will talk about Marlin and Nemo's reunion. What is a reunion? Does anyone know what this means? What is a reunion? Put your hand up if you know. And I will help you. Nobody knows. How about Perry? Hello, Perry. Hello, do you know this word, reunion? No. No? Okay, I'm going to put it here and you can tell me. Reunion. Can you read? When you meet someone again after a long time of not seeing them. That's right. Well done. So a reunion is when you see someone for the first time when you haven't seen them for a very long time, okay? For example, when we go back to school, we can say we will have a reunion, okay? Because we haven't seen each other for a long time and then we will meet again, it's a reunion. Okay, so Marlon and Nemo, they haven't seen each other for a long time, so now when they meet, it's a reunion. Okay, do you understand? Okay, so let's see what happens next in our story. So remember, Nemo was out of the fish tank and then Marlin, who can read this one for me? Uh, Lily. Marlin thinks that Nemo is dead. Is dead, good. Marlin thinks that Nemo is dead. He can't find him, remember? So he feels... He feels like he might be dead, okay? And then what happens next? Uh, to Ang. So he left Dory and stuck. And starts his. Go. 
journey. Home. Good. Well done. Do you remember what journey means? No. No. Remember, journey is when we're on the way to some place, okay? His journey home. So he's on the way home. So he leaves Dory and starts his journey home. So we have a question here. How do we think Marlon is feeling? He has to say goodbye to Dory and he thinks Nemo is dead. How is he feeling? Uh, Jason, what? read the question for me. How do Marlon feel? Sad. He's sad. Why is he sad, Jason? Because his son is blue. Yeah, he, his son is what? Lost. Yeah, he's lost and he thinks he might be dead. So he's very, very sad. Okay, good job. So he has to say goodbye to Dory. And what is Dory feeling like? Uh, let's see. Where is Robert? Hello, Robert. Um, she feels sad. Why is she sad? Because... He miss Marlin. Good. Well done. So it says Dory is also sad that Marlin leaves her. Do you remember why? Do you remember why she's sad when Marlin leaves? Um, I don't know. Not sure. That's oh, that's okay. Thomas says he knows, but we're going to. Watch the little clip and remember, okay? So everybody ready to watch the little clip and pay attention and try to hear the reason why Dory is sad, okay? Let's go. Hey. Dory, if it wasn't for you, I, I never would have even made it here. So thank you. Hey, hey, wait a minute. Well, wait, where are you going? It's over, Dory. We were too late. Nemo's gone. And I'm going home now. No, no, you can't. Stop! Please don't go away. Please. No one's ever stuck with me for so long before. And if you leave, if you leave... I just, I remember things better with you. I do. Look, P. Sherman, 42, 42. I remember it. I do. It's there. I, I know it is because when I look at you, I can feel it. And, and I, I look at you and I come home. Please. I don't want that to go away. I don't want to forget. I'm sorry, Dory. Okay, so do did we hear what the problem was? Why does Dory not want to leave? Why does she want to stay with Marlin? Big Splash, do you know? Yeah. Yeah, tell me what she says. She said he, she remembered and then she don't remember. That's right. So Marlon is helping her to do what? To go. Marlon is helping her to remember things, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, well done. Very good. So she says to Marlon, please don't leave me because when I'm with you, I feel like I can remember. Okay. So let's read this little one. It says Marlon was helping Dory to remember things. So now she is sad because she's starting to forget everything again. Okay, so she feels when she's with Marlon that she can remember things well. Because remember, Dory has what? She has short-term memory. Okay, okay. So what happens next? Let's see. Uh, Potato, where are you? Hello, can you read this one for me? Then... Find Nemo, but she can't. Cannot remember who he is 
Good, well done. So what happens here, Potato? Do you remember? No, we cannot remember Nemo. That's right. Why can Dory remember? Why cannot, why can she not remember? I don't know. Not sure? That's okay. <laughs> Who knows? Why can't Dory remember? Uh, who was that? Pony, is your hand up? Because my is not there. That's right. Marlon's not there and she has short term memory. She can't remember anything. Okay, good Pony. So... But then Dory, she don't memo and remember him. Ah, you know, okay. Good, well done. So she starts to remember everything. This picture here, what does it say? This is a drain pipe, okay? A drain pipe is what carries the water into the ocean. And what does this drain pipe say? Who can help me? What does the drain pipe say? Ben. Study. What does it say? Can you see it? Sydney. Yeah, well done. It says Sydney. Remember, Sydney is where? Who is in Sydney? This is the dentist. That's right, the dentist's office. He lives there, and that's where the fish tank is. Okay. So, Dory remembers, starts to remember everything because she reads Sydney on here, and it helps her to start to remember. Okay. So let's watch this little bit here. Are you ready? Ready, everybody? Okay, go. I saw you, and then I, oh, here you are. I found you. You're not dead. Your father. Oh, no. Your father. My father. You know my father? Where is he going? This way. He went this way. Quick. Hey, 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 hey. hey, hey, hey. hey. Have you seen an orange fish swim by? It, it, it looks just like him, but bigger. Yeah, I saw him, Bluey. But I'm not telling you where he went. And there's no way you're gonna make me. Mine. <laughs> ah! All right. Hold oh, on. Hold oh, on. Okay, let's stop here. And what's happening here? Why is he holding this fish out of the ocean and showing the seagulls? What's happening, Leo? The the crab did not and sh and so the question that Dory asked and Nemo asked. Mm -hmm. So Dory tied him up in the sea. The sea. The seagulls. The seagulls see them and mm -hmm. they said, "Mine, mine." <laughs> Okay, they say mine, 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 mine. Why do they say that? What do they want to do with the, the crab? They want to eat. That's but right. There is only one, so they said mine. That's right. So, do you think it will help uh, him talk? Now he's going to tell him their answer? I think. Yeah, let's check and see, okay? Well done, Leo. Good answer. He went to the fishing ground! <laughs> Hey, look out! Sorry, just trying to get home. Nemo? Nemo? Nemo! Tori? Nemo! Nemo! I'm coming, Nemo! Nemo! Oh, thank goodness. It's all right, son. It's going to be okay. Turn around! Okay, so what happened in this little clip? What happened between Marlin and Nemo? Lion. They are happy. They're happy. Well done. They're very happy because they meet again. Who remembers the special word for when you meet someone again? Who remembers this word I just taught you at the start of the lesson? Maybe Susie remembers? Um, I'm not sure. Not sure? That's okay. Let's see if we have it here. Can mm. you read, Susie? Marlin is? Marlin is finally returned to with Nemo. Okay, this word here says reunited. Can you read it again? Reunited. That's it. Good. Reunited means when you meet someone again, 
when you haven't seen them for a long, long time, okay? So Marlon is finally reunited with Nemo. Good job, Susie. How are they both feeling now? How are they feeling, Jeffrey? Happy. Happy, why are they happy? Returned. They returned, well done. So Marlon thought that Nemo was dead, but then he finds him finally. He hears his voice and they find each other. Very good. Good, Jeffrey. Okay. So after they finally are reunited, they're back together. And then what happens? Who got stuck in the net? Someone gets stuck in the net. Who is it? Uh, Dan, do you know? Yeah. Tell me. Mm, Dory. Dory gets stuck in the net. Well done. And then who helped her to get out? Do you know, Dan? Mm, Marlon. Marlon and? Nemo. Good. Marlon and Nemo. Very good. So Dory gets stuck in the net and then Marlon and Nemo work very hard to try to get her out. Okay. So the next question is, let's see who can read this one. Let's check with Perry, are you there? Yes. Yeah, okay. So it says, can you read this one? Choose two, choose two. adjectives. We we'll choose adjective to describe uh -huh. my and Nemo. Good. What do you think is the answer? Are they scared and sad? Confident and brave or annoyed and worried when they get Dory out of the net? What do you think? Confident and brave. Okay, let's see if everybody agrees with you. I'm going to let you draw the answer, everyone. You can circle A, B, or C. Ready? Three, two, one, go. What is the correct answer? Good. So other people have said confident and brave. Okay, that's enough, everyone. Thank you. Let's see if you're correct. The correct answer is confident and brave. Who knows what confident means? We know brave already. Brave means when you're not scared of anything. How about confident? What does confident mean? Uh, maybe Jason knows. Hello, Jason. Hello, Miss Clarilla. Hello. What does confident mean? I don't know that word. That's okay. I will, I'll show you here. Can you read this? Confident to be sure of yourself. Good. To be sure of yourself. It means you think you know the right answer and so you act confidently, okay? When you know that you are correct. Do you understand? Yeah? Okay. So confident and brave. That's how Nemo and Marlon are feeling. So here it says, at the end, Marlon finally trusts Nemo. He can see that he is able to take care of himself and his friends. So because Nemo helped Dory out of the net, she, he can see that Nemo is able to help other people and to help himself, okay? Uh, Big Splash, do you know what trust means? Yes. What does it mean? It means it is so true. Well done, it means that it's true, okay? It's when you believe in someone or something, okay? You know that it is true. Good answer, well done. Okay, so if I say I trust you, it means that I believe in you. I know that you can do something, okay? Okay, so let's have a look at the life lessons that we learned from Nemo and Marlon here. It says, what do you think the life lesson is at the end of the movie? What do we think we learn from Marlon and Nemo, okay? Here are some clues. Are you ready? Okay, so clue number one, 
Marlin never stops looking for Nemo. Clue number two, who can read the, the second one, Thomas? The tank can keep trying to help Nemo to escape. Good, well done. And let's try the next one. Lion, are you there? Lion, Dory, always? Always. The tries? Tries. Her best? Her best. To help? To help. Marlon? Marlon. Even though? Even. It's difficult. It's Difficult. Oh, Good, well done. Okay, so the tank can keep trying to help Nemo to escape and Marlin never stops looking for Nemo. So what is our life lesson? I have a clue here for you. What can I say to fill in the blank? Who knows the answer? If you know, you can write it to me or put your hand up. How about Ben? Do you know the answer? No. No? Never? Something? Up. What do you think? Uh, I'm not. not sure. Okay. Put your hand up if you know. Let's try Jason. Never give up. Never give up. Let's see if you're correct. Yeah, well done. Never give up. Very good. It's like what Dory said before, remember? Dory sings the song. Just keep swimming, just keep swimming. And she's also saying, don't give up. Okay, so this is our life lesson. Just keep trying and don't give up. Okay, let's take a break from this and we will play a little game, okay? Everybody ready to play a game? Let me see. Tom, do you want to go first? Yes. Yeah, okay, let's check. Number one, are you ready? Okay. If you want to go next, then write now. Okay, number one, Tom. What is an adjective? Is it a thing? A describing word or a doing word? A describing word. Good, a describing word. Well done. Good job, Tom. Okay, number two. Who is next? I think Susie is next. Okay, what does it say? Marlon is? Marlon is looking for Nemo, but he thinks he is dead. Good, let's see. Well done. Good job, Susie. Marlon is looking for Nemo, but he thinks he is dead. Okay, after Susie, I had Thomas. Are you ready, Thomas? Yes. Okay, read the sentence. Nemo escaped from the fish tank and swam out into the ocean. Into the ocean? Yeah, very good. Nemo escapes and he swims out into the ocean. Okay, after Thomas is... Big Splash. Are you ready, Big Splash? Okay, what does it say? What does Dory say when she wants to try her best? What does she say? Just keep swimming. That's right, just keep swimming. It means always try your best, never give up. Good job, Big Splash. Next person is Perry. Are you ready, Perry? Yes. Okay, read the sentence. Marlon? Marlon and Nemo have Dory out of the net. They both feel brave and okay. Number one, two, three, or four? Four. Number four. I don't think it's scared, so they're feeling very good. Confident. Confident. Remember, confident means they know what they're doing, okay? Yeah, they both feel confident and brave. Well done. 
Okay, let's see who's not had a turn today. Lily, are you ready? Yeah. Yeah, okay, next question. Okay, read the sentence. What? what is the meaning of true? Of trust. Of trust. Good. What is it? Number one, to know something, to believe in someone, or to hear something? Mm, to know something. To know something? I'm not sure. It's not know something, it's when you believe in someone, okay? When you trust that person. It's okay, Lily. Go we'll check it later, okay? Okay, next question. Let's see who's not spoke to me today. How about... Alex, are you ready? What is the button on the brain path that helps the remember name of? What does it say on the drain pipe? Which word? Sydney. Sydney? Yeah, well done. On the drain pipe, it says Sydney. Good job. Okay, next one. Let's see who's not had a turn. How about Robert? Are you there? Yes. Okay, next question. What does it say? Who got stuck in the net? Who was it? Dory. Dory, yeah, well done. Dory got stuck in the yeah. net. Good job. Okay, next one. I think Rico. Hello, Rico. Are you ready for the next question? Yes. Okay. Um, okay, Marlin tries. Try, I don't know what is. Really hard. Really hard to find Nemo. He never. Never stop looking from him. What mm -hmm. if? What life lesson do we learn? What life lesson do we learn? If things are hard, um, never give up. Never give up, number three? Yeah. Yeah, well done, never give up. So if something is difficult, never give up. Okay, and the last one, to Ang, are you ready? Yes. Okay, what does it say? Why Dory said when Molly left her, mm -hmm. don't try to be alone. She remember better when Molly is around. She did. She doesn't. Doesn't know the way home. What's the correct answer? I think number one. Number one is she doesn't like to be alone. Remember what she said. She said Dory doesn't want Marlon to go because she remembers things better. Remember? Yes. When Marlon is there. So which number is correct? Two. Number two, yeah, well done. It's number two. Dory thinks that she can remember better when Marlon is there. Okay, this one is the one we got wrong. Let's see if we can remember. The meaning of trust is when we believe in someone. Okay, we believe what they're saying is true. Well done, everyone. We got nine out of ten. Good job. Okay. Let's go back to the lesson here and I'll give you one minute to put the pictures into the correct order, okay? So have a look at the pictures. We have six pictures today. First one is Dory swimming away. This one, the next one is Marlin thinking that Nemo is dead. Picture number three, Marlin and Nemo meet again. This one here is when Dory sees Sydney on the drain pipe. This one is when Marlon and Dory are leaving each other. And the last one is when Nemo finds Dory. Okay, so I'm going to let you draw and you can write the correct number on the correct picture. 
So let's try. Are you ready? Three, two, one, go. Tell me which one is number one. Which one is number two? Three, four, five, six. Robert's doing well, very good. Pony's drawing, Leo's drawing, Thomas, well done. Good job, Robert. Okay, don't make a mess, remember. Okay, five, four, three, two, one, stop. Okay, very good. Let me see. So you think number one is which one? Pony, which one is number one? Um, Dari and Marling is leaving. Ah, okay. Let's see if you're correct. This okay. one. This one is number one when Marlin thinks Nemo is dead, okay? What? <laughs> this is what happened first. Number two, Lion. I'm not sure. Okay, I'll help you. This one. What's happening in this picture? Um, this picture. Marlin is saying goodbye to Dory, okay? Remember? Yes. Yeah, okay. That one, Marlin saying goodbye to Dory. Number three is when Dory is sad because she doesn't want to leave Marlin. Okay. Number four, Dory finds Nemo. Number five, she remembers everything because she sees the word Sydney on the drain pipe. And number six, finally, Nemo and Marlin meet again. So this is the correct order. Okay. Well done, everybody. You did very well. Okay, so what did we learn about today? We did Marlin and Nemo's reunion. Remember, reunion is when they meet again for the, after a long time. And life lesson, never give up. Okay, your homework tonight is, Ben, what's your homework tonight? Tell me the number, activity number what? Um, 15. 15. 15 and... 16. 16, very good. Okay, so 15 and 16 is your homework tonight. Everybody did very well, well done. And we finished talking about the whole movie now. You did very well. We've spoke about the whole movie. Okay, anyone have a quick question? Put your hand up if you have a question. Pony has a question. I do do. Um, Nemo is scared. Nemo is scared. Okay. Okay, well done, everybody. See you tomorrow. Have a good day. Bye bye. Bye bye.